Today's video is about whether someone should hire a criminal defense lawyer if they're arrested in a DC criminal case. We get a lot of calls from potential clients who've recently been arrested and for most people they've never been in the criminal justice system before and they have lots of questions. Now this video is going to really answer actually three important questions. One, should you hire a criminal defense lawyer if you're charged with a crime in DC? Two, what are some of the benefits of hiring a criminal defense lawyer if you decide to do so? And then finally, what are some of the things that you should watch out for when you're looking for a criminal defense lawyer and going through the consultation process? So first, if you get hired, if you get arrested in DC, should you hire a criminal defense lawyer? Well, the short answer is yes. Whether it's a misdemeanor or felony case, getting arrested and convicted can have a huge impact on your life jail time, probation, fines, and there are a ton of collateral consequences that can come with a criminal conviction on your record, depending on what the charge is. They can be worse. Now, there's an old saying that comes to mind whenever somebody tells me they want to represent themselves in a criminal case, and that is, a lawyer who represents himself has a fool for a client. Now, there's absolutely no scenario where I think it would be a good idea for someone to represent themselves in a criminal case. That is for a lot of reasons. Aside from the fact that the person could incriminate themselves with the judge or the prosecutor basically every time they open up their mouth, the individual also is going to have no idea how to navigate the court system, how to deal with the prosecutor, how to deal with the judge, etc. Now, in fact, it's so rare for an individual to represent themselves in a criminal case in D.C., the court actually has to have a special hearing on the record to make sure that the defendant truly wants to do it. Now, maybe you were thinking about taking a court-appointed lawyer for your case rather than hiring one. Now, that's definitely a much better option than representing yourself. And in some cases, that may be the best option. And there are lots of really great court-appointed lawyers out there. The biggest downside of getting a court-appointed lawyer as opposed to hiring a lawyer is you don't get to choose who your lawyer is in that scenario. The judge chooses for you. Another downside is you actually won't get the lawyer, if you're eligible for one, until the first court date. That means you're going to go into your arraignment not knowing what to expect or what steps you could take in advance of your court date. There's also things a lawyer might want to do in advance like make sure video evidence gets preserved. That's not going to happen. Now, if you want to choose who represents you and find out exactly what to expect before your court date, then I highly recommend hiring someone in advance. Now, what are some of the benefits of hiring a criminal defense lawyer in D.C.? One such benefit is if you hire someone with a lot of experience in D.C. Superior Court, you will have someone in your corner who can walk you through exactly what to expect in your case. Now, the lawyer can't tell you exactly what will happen, um, but an experienced criminal defense lawyer should be able to tell you a range of possible options, a range of possible outcomes based on their experience. Kind of think about it like this. It may be your first DUI arrest, but for an experienced DUI lawyer, it could be the hundredth time they've represented someone in a DUI case. That means they should be able to give you a worst case, best case, and usually a lot of kind of in-between case scenarios about what could happen. Um, they can also tell you what immediate steps you should be taking in advance of your court date to put you in a better situation. Finally, a good criminal defense lawyer should be able to advise you what choices you should make in the case, like whether to take a plea deal or go to trial. And they should let you know the possible consequences and likely outcomes of each choice so that you can make the best decision. Finally, if you're looking to hire a criminal defense lawyer, what are some of the things that you should watch out for? Remember, before I said there were lots of really good court-appointed lawyers out there, well, unfortunately, there's also a fair amount of shady private criminal defense lawyers out there as well who may be more interested in taking your money than doing anything in your case. Now, one of the first things to watch out for is if the lawyer overpromises or makes a guarantee in the consult. 
Any lawyer who, put, who promises a potential client a guarantee is a liar, point blank. There's a big secret. Much of what happens in your case is outside the lawyer's control and up to the judge or the prosecutor. So if you talk to a lawyer and they say something like, hire me and I guarantee you your case will get dismissed, run. No lawyer can truly guarantee a particular outcome in a criminal case. That is a fact. At our firm, we make two guarantees. One, if you hire us, you will know what to expect every step of the way because we will communicate with you every step of the way. And two, we will do everything in our power to try and get you the best possible outcome in your case. That said, we would never guarantee a particular case outcome in a consultation or during the representation. Uh, two, if the lawyer tries to scare you in the consultation, that's a pretty good sign you shouldn't hire this lawyer. This one is pretty much the opposite of number one, but it's just as bad. There are actual lawyers out there who will make potential clients feel like their only hope is to plead guilty. Sometimes it makes sense to plead guilty in a case. Other times it doesn't. A lawyer shouldn't scare you into either, but instead the lawyer should be straightforward and honest with you about what is in your best interest and fully explain to you all of your potential options. At our firm, we will never scare a, a client or potential client into pleading guilty. We give them the truth. Finally, and this is a big one, but kind of a technical one. If you sign up with a lawyer and that lawyer doesn't give you a copy of the retainer agreement, that's a big problem. When you hire a lawyer, there should be a contract that tells you what your rights are under the agreement. There are actual lawyers out there who will get you to sign a legal document, get you to pay money, and not even give you a copy of what you've signed. If, if you see a lawyer and they don't give you a signed copy of your agreement, that is a big problem and definitely a bad sign. So I hope you found this information helpful in your search for what to do if you've been arrested for a criminal case and if you're looking for an attorney. Remember, we're always standing by at Scrifano Law PC ready to help. Our attorneys will base your expectations on what matters, the truth. We'll never overpromise you and we'll never scare you into something you're not comfortable with. We'll fight for you every step of the way and we'll communicate with you throughout the process. Thanks.